Have you ever wondered what it might be like to have your cold approaches filmed and certainly see yourself from a third person perspective and really truly see how you are conversing with other people on the street, especially if you're someone who is very new to the concept of doing daytime cold approaching, or perhaps you've been doing it for a while. Well, in this video, I'm gonna take the opportunity to talk about this service that I'm offering and why I genuinely also feel that it is a great way for you to really give yourself that visual feedback and know where you're going right, where you're going wrong, what your bad habits and mannerisms are, and how you can certainly learn from watching your own in fields. So the actual service itself is split over the course of two days. And the first day is the filming. And then the second day is where we will sit down together and review your content. And I will give you feedback. Now, the reason why I've had to do it over the course of two days, whether it be the next day or we schedule something online and go and do it that way or we end up meeting in person which would certainly be more ideal the reason why I've had to do that is because it's very difficult to walk around with camera gear and my laptop as well so to make life certainly even easier for me and to allow me to actually have a much more steady hand with holding the camera, uh, I've decided that absolutely it's easier to leave my laptop at home and then bring it with the next day so we can watch stuff through together. But on that first day of filming, you have the option of either doing a two hour filming session or a four hour filming session. Now, Either of these is entirely up to you. There's not really a right or wrong answer here, but having a longer session time just means that it gives you a bit more time to get momentum and warm up into doing the cold approaching, as well as you also get more approaches in because of the extra time. And then it just means that you can get even more feedback on conversations and interactions you have the next day. So it's entirely up to you whether you wanna do the two or four hours. I would say if you're certainly someone who is more um, experienced with going out and doing approaching, then two hours is probably gonna be more appropriate for you. But if someone, is very new to doing uh, cold approaching or maybe you know they're not very experienced in it then I would probably say the four hours is going to be better because I'm going to be able to you know pinpoint and pick out particular issues and certainly give you feedback on that the next day. So we would go out for four hours or two hours in London. We would walk around any area of either your choosing or if you're not sure with London, I will definitely say we will walk around uh, a good few routes in central London, all the busy places and of different environments of sorts. So you can get used to talking to people in where they're walking fast, they're walking slow, or it's a, a busy environment, it's a quiet environment. And perhaps maybe even if you have a particular type of person that you're certainly interested in, then absolutely we can go to certain areas as well. So like, for example, let's say you're into like your rock and goth sort of music and style, then perhaps maybe somewhere like Camden would be more appropriate. Or if maybe you're more of a, a city worker, then, you know, places like Liverpool, Liverpool Street, Bank, St Paul's, that might be more appropriate. Or maybe you're someone who's a bit more introverted, you like more relaxed environments, then places like South Bank and Trafalgar Square might be a lot more appropriate too. So there's plenty of options really for us to be walking around and doing filming in London. Now, when we are doing the filming, I'm going to try and encourage you to be the one to make the decisions to go into doing your approaching. Now, if you do find that you're struggling with this, then absolutely I will step in and I will try and encourage you and push you into talking to people because ultimately I want you to get as many approaches in in the time that we are working together so I then have even more content to review and then give you feedback on you know it's not really going to be beneficial if we find that we're just walking around for two or four hours and you're being super picky with your conversations and then finding that during the four hour period, let's say, you only get like two or three conversations in. So I really want you to make the most out of your time with booking in the session with me 
And if I find that you're not quite being brave enough to go and do the approaches on your own, then absolutely I'm going to push you into it as well. Now, during that time, even whilst you're coming back to me after each approach, I will definitely be giving you feedback if it's applicable. Um, ideally, I want to try and save all the feedback for the actual session the next day, because then it's going to be easier for me to, you know, sit and write it all down, all of my notes, and then feedback it to you bit by bit as we are watching through the videos. But absolutely, I will be giving you feedback whilst we are out, whilst we're walking, because I still want you to be improving as you're doing the approaching. So you're not going to be alone on that front. And absolutely, you'll be getting that support from me. So at least even when we watch through the video footage, you can see this progression of you getting better as the afternoon goes on. So that would be then the two or four hour sessions. Now, at the end of that, that would be kind of the end of that session, at least on your part. But for me, when I go home, I am then going to go and sit and watch through all of the footage and I'm going to write down all of my notes. So when I'm uh, looking at every kind of infield, I always look at three particular areas. So I look at body language, I look at linguistics, and I look at structure of content. So body language would be like how you're standing, how you're gesturing, how you're presenting yourself visually to the people that you're talking to. Linguistics would be your speed of speech, vocal tonality. Are you pausing? Are there ums and errs? Are you stuttering, mumbling, and so on? And then the last one would be structure of content. How are you talking to the women that you're approaching? What kind of things are you talking about? So this would be really looking more at the conversation side of things. And, you know, are you transitioning your conversations in a way that are fun and flirty and interesting that should hopefully improve your results? So this will kind of cater really to any kind of guy, you know, not just the beginners or people new, but absolutely for the new guys, this is going to be a great way for you to really understand where your bad habits and mannerisms again lie. So that would then be my homework in that evening in preparation for the session the next day or when we next book it. Ideally, I'd love to be able to do it in person for you, but there's absolutely no pressure on that, uh, especially if you do live outside of London and you've come into town to actually do the sessions with me but we would then hopefully meet in town sit and have a coffee together and I'd get my laptop out and we would watch through every video where you will listen in I will listen in and we will stop and start it where appropriately and I will be giving you feedback on again the body language, linguistics and structure of content and again as I'll be giving you feedback throughout the day of filming you will see this natural progression hopefully in your videos as well. So the actual content itself is isn't going to be publicly displayed anywhere. It is for your eyes only. Now, I may then request, depending on how well the sessions go, I was going to say services there, but uh, depending on how the session goes, and I'm pretty confident it will go really, really well. Um, it's something that I have done for years with guys and definitely with dating coaches. You know, you only have to look at some of the, the footage that dating coaches have put out over the years and seen a natural progression with them because I've been able to to not just give them feedback for their approaches when they've gone off and done it, but also they have been able to sit and watch their own videos, critique themselves, get that visual feedback and improve on top of that. So you'll be able to watch the footage. Again, it's for your eyes only, but I may ask you if I can take like some screenshots, obviously blurring out and covering up your face and stuff just for me to be able to use for marketing purposes. But at the end of the day, that is down to your discretion. Uh, I won't be using anything without your permission on that. But other than that, the actual content is for your eyes only. And of course you will get all of your infield footage so you can watch it back and cringe over it as many times as you desire and hopefully you'll be able to critique yourself as well and give yourself even more feedback by identifying those bad habits and mannerisms. Now, this isn't a service that you necessarily have to go for if you're thinking about doing my dating desensitization therapy, but it is just a great 
uh it's it's a really great service if you just want to get that extra bit of feedback and know what you look like in your approaches so then when we go out together to do the uh the the sessions on working on your cold approach skills and overcoming your social anxiety it's going to just push your results even further and faster as well so I think that's probably everything covered there. If I have missed anything, by all means, do visit my website. So www.thatdatinganxietyguide.com and have a look at the dating desensitization therapy page. And you will see kind of like a dotted box at the bottom of the page that explains everything there is to know about this optional filming service. But even as a standalone, I think it is a really great one for guys just to see where they're at and then maybe even consider in like six months time to actually do it again and see how much of an improvement you've made by implementing the feedback that I have given you. So if you're interested in the service, by all means, check out my website and reach out to me for a complimentary client assessment so I can make sure that you are right for working with me and I'm right for working with you. And um, and then we can definitely go ahead with booking in that filming session. And then I also can get an idea of where you're currently at in your dating life and with your cold approaching as well. And then we can just get really straight into it when it comes to that, that filming session together. So thank you very much for watching. If you can as well, do check out my other video on my dating desensitization therapy, which is my week long training as well, which will certainly complement this filming session if you do end up going for it. But by all means, you can choose between two hours or four hours. And other than that, I look forward to hopefully hearing from you and filming you with your own in-fields too.